Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Terrell Hall of Fame, D-Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. Yo, man, look, this is my page, right? And I appreciate y'all. I appreciate some of y'all come on here and y'all kick it. Some of y'all come on here crying, and complain. But the one thing I don't do is, I, you know, I don't ever try to take it to a level of personal. And I, I give certain people passes just for whatever reason. So as y'all seen, you know, Mr. Vice President, uh, James Cooper at ABKC decided to come on here and he put up some comments and then he erased them, but I called him on them anyway. You know what I mean? The how dare you talk about Dave and the ABKC and Dave made you and this, that, and the other. Then he want to take shots and you did this and you did that. First of all, this is the ultimate of what I tell y'all. And this is not a dog, our normal dog post. So some of y'all who get offended by when I get in people's asses, you might want to switch to the next video. But this is what I'm saying, you know, and then he had the nerve to say, well, why don't you make a dog? First of all, I'm going to tell y'all, this is this is the normal propaganda that people run. Let's start off with the first part. How dare you talk about Dave? Well, first of all, Coop, my relationship with Dave was just like yours. I go all the way back. Me and Dave had a personal relationship. I mean, reality, I can tell, I can I can talk about shit that Dave <laughs> said about you. <laughs> you know, let's just be real. You know, and at the end of the day, you know what I mean? We ain't doing all of that. So when I say something about Dave, and when I say something about the operations of the ABKC, I ain't the only one that's saying, saying that y'all over there pushing fucked up dogs. I ain't do. I didn't force Nan by to put up that post to where he caught y'all in the lie about the DNA testing and all of that carrying on to where he used y'all same lab and y'all said that the dog was real and it wasn't real. The, uh, the pedigrees didn't match up, but the same lab said, no, nah, no. Nah. Y'all said it did, but the, uh, the, same ped uh, the same lab said, that it didn't you know what i mean y'all lie for bashar i'm not the one that i told this you know just so you know and i'm talking to cooper a little bit now i'm not the one that where it's somebody there was somebody in your office that was talking about the number of uh, of uh of dogs somebody that i know personally talked to and this is going all the way back probably damn near 10 years even way back then was talking about uh the number of litters that was registered with with bitches that was seven and eight months old yeah this is real shit. I ain't talking about no rumor mill. I, I ain't the one. You That's on video to where y'all let that man come in the ring and take his dog when his dog was flopping around like a fish, drag it around the ring, and y'all gave him a first place ribbon. Or when another one of y'all judges gave that dog that looked like the hunchback of Notre Dame that was wobbling all around the ring and could barely walk a first place ribbon. Or that y'all gave grand championships to dogs with kink tails. Yeah, people are going to talk about it, man. Get out your feelings. And if you is, then fuck you. It's just that simple. Now we go. Uh, now we gonna address that. You know, we already addressed the ABKC stuff, and I know y'all hate sometimes when I get on it, but this is what we got to do. Now next, you go to let's make a dog. Did you forget that not only is my dog in the pedigree of several ABKC Nationals champions, he's a Nationals champion himself. Did you forget that while all of y'all over there pushing muscle tone uh, uh, blood, this is just the tip of the iceberg, you know? My dog is in that shit. Did you forget, or you probably ain't even paid attention, that uh, another one of my dogs, Mandela, put I don't know how many uh, champions in y'all registry last year. Brian Robertson did three by himself. It was that dog, Pretty Boy Floyd. We can keep on naming them. Another one, uh, Messiah, just won a championship. So you're talking about make a dog. My dogs is producing. My dogs is making the legendary thing, and they coming in there clean and, and, and forcing y'all, forcing y'all to give them ribbons. Make a dog now. On the other hand, people, I've heard people say they like that D-line blood. They like that Denzel blood. They like that Rome blood. You know what I mean? They, they like that, they like that some of that, that Mandela blood. They like some of that shit that I'm putting out. Ain't never in the history of the American bully have I ever heard anybody say, oh, I'm, I'm breeding Coop's blood. You ain't never made shit. Can't nobody name one dog that you made. And, and, and I'm not, I don't even know your dog's pedigree that you pushing right now. But I, I'm, I'm betting it's a 50-50 chance that the way y'all been over there, you know, do, doing y'all for late acts on Bashar that you got some some of my shit running through your yard as we speak so it, one of the things is stay in your lane you ain't did nothing when you say Dave made me Dave didn't make shit man I did all my breedings I got one dog off of Dave and his matter of fact I got two dogs off of the uh, off of Dave and the second one I got off of him never did a breeding for a breeding for him sold him to Zach Randolph I got two dogs in the whole history of anything and I paid cash money for my dogs Dave ain't did me no favors he, he gave me one dog, you know what I mean? And off that dog, very nice dog, and I always give him credit for his part in there, even though the Trevinos did the breeding. 
it is what it is. I, I, I did all this shit. I, I picked my own breeding, something that y'all ain't never did. Every breeding thereafter where I made champions from those dogs, I did that. That's my stuff. So when you come and you talk about make a dog, when you're an individual who has never produced anything that anybody has ever even heard of, it, it, I will challenge the masses. Have y'all ever heard of James Cooper blood? Have y'all ever heard of Big Coop blood? You make t-shirts. Keep on printing t-shirts, motherfucker. I'll never come to the print shop and tell you how to put in that work, but this is real work over here. This is dog man work. I can show you dog after dog. We got champions in different registries because we don't even really mess with y'all registry. But even though it, with us not messing with y'all registry, I can show you. Go look in your own books. Dogs that I produce have champed out in the ABK in the ABKC, starting with me when I was a part of y'all over there. Ever since the inception, damn near every year. Multiple dogs have champed out ABKC every single year that I produce. That's what you call a producer. I don't even be trying to produce. You know, I got mental issues. I, I got other shit going on. I, don't even, I ain't even been trying, and I've been doing this. Now let's go to the, you know, to, to the to the flip side of this whole thing, bro. You, this is what happens when a grown man, first of all, take every bitch perspective to try to attack another man because you and your feelings about the truth. I'm not the only one that's saying that the ABKC is fucking up. I'm not the only one that's bringing up the fact that y'all dogs is over there looking crippled, that y'all gave a, a national a championship to a dog with a kink tail, that y'all gave a national championship to a dog with a high rear, that y'all <laughs> that y'all y'all allowed blood that y'all swore up and down long ago and it's still video of uh, Dave talking about how bad the bullseye blood was and that the Miyagi blood was a, a, a fraud and it was Frenchy and it was this and it was that. Then you sell out bitches, turn around and allow it back in the breed and y'all talk about protecting the breed. Make t-shirts, man, because the integrity when it comes to dogs is nothing. You want to talk talk about scam, the biggest scam is when y'all run, run around and y'all parade every day like y'all here for the breed and all y'all doing is robbing the fuck out of breed and making backyard deals all the time to push dogs in there that's in y'all favor and allowing all kind of trashy ass dogs to become champions, to be bred, Allowing young dogs to be bred Y'all screwed the whole breed over All of these terrible ass dogs That we see running around here With paddle ass feet High ass rears Oh let's not forget Y'all the ones who made the extreme class Which allowed for every flaw in the world Including a hideous dog like Dax To become a grand champion of all things And then after after eliminating the class Y'all just spread the class out All through the whole That was y'all That was y'all Jedi mind trick Oh yeah we gonna get rid of it Because the community said It was so terrible And, and let's not forget Me and Dave had that conversation About how terrible the extreme class was coop so while he telling you to shut the fuck up in meetings he talks to me like a man either that or when he know i'm pissed he calls the police and you know about that too because you didn't come down there to see me face to face when y'all was cowering and scared to, to, to come see me too and then the one thing that i i, I want to say in this video for real because i ain't gonna go too far on your measly punk ass but the one thing i will say about this mr vice president of the abkc before you jump on somebody else's page take the temperature of the community because all you got is banners all you got is t-shirts but People wouldn't be here. I would be considered a joke. They wouldn't listen to me ever. These people wouldn't be liking this page and sharing these videos if they didn't agree. The dogs that they see on a weekly basis is fucked up. Oscar Gomez left y'all because y'all tried to play him, start dodging his phone calls every time he spoke up about how fucked up the, uh, the registry was and things that was going on in the registry that he didn't approve of and how y'all was fucking up the breed. I guess Oscar is all those things too, huh? It's a lot of people who didn't call y'all out, who's very, very reputable to go back like we do. People who actually made dogs, Coop, that ain't like you. Let's not forget how you got in your position to be in the ABKC. It was handed to you. Dave made you. Because the only relevance that you got in this world, T-shirt man, is to hang on to your title of Mr. ABKC. And that's dictated by Dave allowing you to stay and call yourself vice president because he can get rid of you like he got rid of other people while other people is out here making it on their own. It never matters if a man walks, if a man crawls 100 feet on his own hands and knees, he's far better than a man who piggybacked a thousand miles on somebody else's nutsack. Believe that. I'm my own man. Y'all could never face me.
That's why it was police calls. That's why it was probation, calling my probation officer. And let's not forget the one aspect. I always cut you out of this. And Danny always wanted me to put you in there. I was standing next to Danny when you had that conversation, when you was talking all that shit, when you was, when you uh, threatened to pull a put pistol on Danny. So out of all the people, when all of those dogs got killed in Florida, you were the only one in Florida that actually knew where Danny lived who had beef with him. And you were connected with the people in the EE who had beef with us. But I always left you out of it because you kept it respectful. But like I say, if you really want to be a man and you really want to talk, you know who did that too. Go ahead because if I, if I don't do nothing else, I tell you, that's one time that I retract back to my old self. If I ever find out who really did that and killed them dogs and let my niece fi find out about it, Coop, we can take this shit personal. You're not a dog man. You're an embarrassment to the American bully community, just like your godfather, Dave. Y'all destroyed this community. This is why these dogs is fucked up. This is why y'all laugh and joke. This is why the Humane Society in a, in a, in a, in a, in a instructional video that I happen to be able to listen in on because of a friend a few weeks ago actually named the ABKC as one of the leading registries for this puppy peddling and, these, and this abusive nature of breeding for dogs. They named y'all. Facts. Y'all well known for all the wrong reasons. If this was government, y'all be treasonous to the breed. Don't try to tell me about nothing. Because you can say whatever you want. You can make up whatever lie and innuendo about me that y'all want. Because y'all try to destroy character. Because y'all can't destroy the integrity of what I put forth for this breed. Because I never put out trash ass dogs. And I will make people wait longer times if I have to go ahead and fix and neuter the dogs and make those pets. Only to put out quality to be bred. Because I love this shit. I love this breed. I care about the people in this breed. I care about the longevity and the way that this breed will be portrayed in the future the health that's why my motto is healthy dogs matter and y'all motto is all cash matters you ain't shit the registry ain't shit and your stepdaddy ain't shit that's real talk until next time y'all i had to lace him up i'm sorry but when you see a fresh pair of jays you got to lace them much love peace